Hey guys, it's me Trent and I'm doing my first tutorial with Sony Vegas Pro 10 and its new feature, stabilizing video, that is. And uh, basically what it does is, well, um, <laughs> stabilize this video. Alright, let's get into it. Open up Sony Vegas Pro 10. Um, this will only work with Sony Vegas Pro 10, no other version of Vegas. So, if you don't have any, if you don't have Vegas Pro 10, then... You know, you're pretty much screwed. All right, go to file, and uh, you want to make a new, because you don't want to stay at 720. I mean, come on. De uh, depending on what you recorded in, I recorded in 1080p, so I'm going to do that. And then 32-bit floating point, best. Okay, all right. Now let's import your footage. All right, my footage is right here, right over here. Yeah, that's right here. Yeah, that's right. All right, let's, uh, I got multiple footage, so I'm going to, you know, just press S, split that, delete. All right, well, I've got this footage, and it's quite shaky. Check this out. See all the little camera movements and stuff? You don't want that. You want to make it look pretty professional. And if you don't have a glide cam or steady cam, you know, that's not going to work. But if you have Sony Vegas Pro 10, here's what you do. All right, go up to tools in this area right here. Go to video and then stabilize media. And uh, this is only coming up because I clipped it off of a lot of footage and I'm just going to press yes. And all right, here at profile, um, I suggest if you're if you recorded it handheld and you want it really smooth, go to very smooth handheld camera, obviously. But uh, you can choose whatever. But just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to do very smooth and accuracy up to best. And then detect fast motion. And um, if you zoom in at all while filming, you know, you'd go to pan, tilt, roll, and zoom. But, you know, I'm going to keep it here because I didn't zoom at all. And then apply. And this will come up and it'll take a while. You'll just have to wait for it. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to stop the video and fast forward. All right. Here we are with the uh, footage after it has been stabilized. Usually it takes a while. I don't know if it varies with different computers or not, but um, it took a pretty long time on mine. It took about 10 minutes or so just for this 12 second footage. Well, um, as you can tell, you know, it, it zoomed in a little bit. Here's a previous. You can see that, how it zooms in. Oops. Yeah, and then that. What the freak is going on? Come on, America. Okay. Zooms in. Yeah. See? And um, that's that's really the downside of this is that it zooms in. It kind of downgrades the video quality. And it's not really that good. But, you know, it, it's pretty darn smooth. Look at it. You know, there's no shakes to the camera at all. Mm, but it it's extremely smooth. But it does downgrade the video quality, which really does suck and can be prevented if you know you know get a glide cam or steady cam but that can be very pricey so let's compare the two look at that shakiness yeah you want that out of there you want to look professional bam look at that smooth as crap that's video quality right there yep that's pretty simple as long as you got Sony Vegas 10 you know you got it done Alright guys, thank you guys for watching my very first tutorial. Make sure to subscribe. Maybe I'll do some more. I just thought this one was really cool because I found this really fascinating with uh, Sony Vegas having this. Alright, well make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys. Peace out.